All right, Carrie, it's fight week again. It's been a while since we've been able to say that. So talk to me about how you're feeling coming into this one off of the, uh, the pandemic layoff. I'm feeling really great so far. And, um, you know, I did gain a, those little extra pounds from just not having my normal schedule at the gym. So I was really disciplined this camp, super disciplined. So I feel like I'm on track, doing well with my weight and ready to just go and get the job done. And we were supposed to see you fight six months ago and that obviously didn't happen. As a fighter who's in their late thirties, trying to you know get more momentum, was that a little extra difficult? Like, I can't let this happen forever, you know? Definitely, I definitely think so. It was, I, I really wanted to get on a roll starting then. I wanted to fight earlier. I was asking Bellator, I fought October, 2019. I was pushing for February and then hoping to do May, but they pushed me back to May. And then when the whole COVID thing happened, it's been a little stressful thinking of how active I wanted to be and how active I have not been. So, but I was, um, I was dealing with earlier on in the summer, they did out offer me a fight and I was going through a little injury. That's all healed up now. Great. And uh, Emily King, your opponent was also, you were able to keep that match up. Were you happy that that was the, the, the that she's gonna still be the one across from you or would you have preferred uh, you know, a different opponent kind of? <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. Um, yeah. You know, I, I want to fight anyone. And, you know, they found that match and it was easy for them to ask her first. And I was like, heck yeah, let's do it. And how much improved do you think you'll be in this fight? Like, will, will we see strides that you've made since the last time you stepped in there, do you think? Definitely. I'm always working. I'm always in the gym. And luckily, my husband's my head coach, so he's really hard on me. And we're always improving. Even at home, when we're not in the gym, we're just watching fights together, breaking down fights. As everyone knows, he's an analyst, so we break down fights together. So I'm definitely always improving physically and mentally. Yeah, it's great. He's been doing great work on ESPN, breaking down all the fights. So I'm assuming he'll be here for your for this one? Yes. Awesome. And, uh, you know, I talked to Austin Vanderford last week, and he was talking about his, his wife, Paige Van Zant, and how, you know, someday he, sh he hopes that she comes here and they share a card together. I know Gilbert's never really used the, <laughs> the retirement word, but... Have you ever considered like that that as an option? Is that something like selfishly you're like, that would be kind of cool to, to fight on the same card as him? It would be really cool to fight on the same card as, with, as him, but it would be almost impossible and stressful because we have a daughter. I think if we didn't have a daughter, we could do it, but it's, oh man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it would be too stressful and we wouldn't want to, but hey, yeah. you know, money talks, so. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. And probably like, it's probably easier to focus on one of you, put both of your efforts into one than the other, right? Yes. It would think that I'd have to have somebody else running my camp, but um, you know, if it works out, I would make it happen. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I know in this division, there's no champion right now. Uh, so do you like that? Is it almost better where it's like, I can give them a reason to have a champion or would you prefer that there's somebody at the end of the line with a belt that you're gunning for? You know, right now um, I, I did was hoping that they would develop a 115 division and hopefully do a tournament and crown a champ was my desire but now it doesn't look like it's happening so i'm ready to step up and move to 125. i feel like if i'm going to be with bellator i'm going to you know i can go out there and bang with them and i need to do it if i'm going to stay with bellator i want to stay with bellator so i need to go with the division that they're promoting and there's no hard details about a 125 pound tournament but scott coker has time and time again said that's something that we're going to do so do you feel like that that's something you'd like to participate in if, if they do do that flyweight tournament? Yes, definitely. I'm, you know, I'm not going to stay with Bellator and doing these one-off fights. I want some big fights. I want bigger fights. And I think going to 125 will give me that and a tournament. I've never done one, so it would be an exciting new um, motivation. Yeah. And uh, when you go in there on Thursday, uh, what, what do you need to do to get the job done, do you think? What, what, kinda, what are the keys to victory for you in this fight? Well, you know, my key is always I love striking, but I doubt – that she is gonna strike with me. I really didn't watch too much video on her. I couldn't really find that much. I saw the Ava Knight fight, but I just pictured in my mind, she's the best Southpaw Taekwondo person I'm gonna fight and the best grappler who's gonna try to push me against the cage and take me down. So, um, you know, and I'm ready for it. I'm just going to show her my skills when it comes to the grappling. And what, what I would love though is to knock her out. Awesome, well, I wish you the best of luck in trying to do that and I appreciate the time. Thank you.